What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to North Lake Survivors. I'm Jonathan. Zelda. So you've been playing Sims. Yeah, I just discovered it. So I didn't I mean I've heard people playing it, but I've just like How did you just discover this? This is like a game from our middle school years. <laughs> I mean, I saw people playing it online. I, I was scrolling through TikTok and I was seeing a bunch of people like playing Sims 4. And I was like, oh, this looks fun. It's just like, you know, you're. Is living... Sims 4 new or is it one of the ones from when we were kids? It's new. Oh, okay. I don't know how new. It might not be that new, but it's the newer version because there's Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you get to live a life outside of your life. <laughs> and you just get to like mess around. You can do whatever you want. You can like date, have babies. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm nine months job. pregnant. Uh, <laughs> I have a, I'm engaged, but I also have a boyfriend on the side. Oh my God, you're <laughs> trash. Yeah. <laughs> so this now when I log back on, I'm gonna try and look for like, cause I want a girlfriend too, and then like I want How a couple many? of mates. How many significant <laughs> others does your six character need? She needs a lot. She gets around. Okay? <laughs> and when I'm done having my baby, I want to look for another baby daddy. <laughs> that is my goal. How is your Sims <laughs> pulling people while nine months pregnant? I don't know. Do both guys think they're the dad? No. Well, the other guy, my boyfriend, hasn't want to like do the deed with me. He like turned down. He turned. He 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 said he wanted to be my boyfriend, but he didn't want to have sex with me yet. In the game, yeah. you're getting shot down <laughs> yes. by digital characters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sad. <laughs> There's li like you have a. I I. It's been so long since I've played Sims. You actually have conversations. Well, they have their own little Sims language, but the text is English. So you have options of what. You can't put in specific options, but they have choices. So you're like, let's have sex. And the yeah. boyfriend's like, no. Yeah. His response will either be like, yes or no. But you can have so many different conversations. So why is he dating you if he wants no sexual intimacy? I think he wants to get to know me better. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. While you're nine months pregnant with another guy's <laughs> baby. Yeah. With, do you wear the engagement ring? That's the thing. I proposed to my fiance. You proposed. Yeah, and now he has the ring, but I don't have a ring. But he has the ring. <laughs> You're gonna cheat on him. Why did you propose? <laughs> because I wanted a, I wanted a fiance and I wanted a boyfriend, and I now I want a girlfriend too. <laughs> These are the things that you can't really. I mean, you can do in real life, but it's frowned upon. <laughs> For good reason. <laughs> it's incredibly unethical. But this is like something that's like, you know, it's out of the box. It's like, I can just like, be free in these Sims games. <laughs> <laughs> so to you, freedom is engagement, boyfriend, and girlfriend. Yeah. You need three people to make you happy and content. Yeah. That's insane. It has to be a party. A party. <laughs> Do they know each other? No, but I'm going to go back. When I get back home, I'm going to invite both of them over and see what happens. What? I just want to see what happens. I want to be like if they're content with each other or if they get mad at each other. Are you trying to create a throuple? I guess so. They don't know about each other. <sighs> and then also my boyfriend is married. Wait, so, yeah. what? Yeah. So I don't know if she... I did try to conversate with her and she was always angry with me. So maybe... Because you're she dating knows. her husband. Maybe she knows that I'm dating her husband. I thought the husband was a good guy. He's like, no, I don't want to have no. sex. I want to take it slow and get to know you. Meanwhile, he has a whole wife on the side. Yeah, he's married. <laughs> Is nobody in Sims loyal? Some people are. I did do a good thing. Like one of my neighbors, he's married. And he was trying to flirt with another girl, and he needed my advice. He's like, I really like this girl. What should I do? And I convinced him to not go after her. So, <laughs> you you morally have an opposition of other people cheating, yes. but you support it for yourself. Exactly. Do as I say and not, <laughs> not as, as I, I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> What? And then he took my advice. He's like, yeah, you're right. I'm going to stay loyal. He's like, now I'm going to go find my side piece. <laughs> but I'm glad you don't have one. I know. If you're looking for one, here's my number. <laughs> and you walk off. 
<laughs> Do you have a job? Yeah, I work in retail. And I make $40 an hour. $40 an hour in retail? I know. What? You work for Apple? Like, who are you working I for? I a clothing store. $40? What? I know. Do you have a house? Yeah. And a car? Uh, I haven't seen my car, but I travel places, but I don't know if it's by Uber, because I haven't seen my car. Oh, okay. But it lets you travel to different, like, you can go to the nightclub, you can go to the museum, you can just hang out. At, She's you know, living a whole life over here in yeah, digital land. I am. Like, I literally just spent hours after we got home from the movies, I downloaded it, and I was like, dang, this is fun. <laughs> You gotta play SimCity though, because SimCity I remember being like a lot of fun. I was either 2000 or 3000 or something like that, but mm -hmm. you build a city and then you gotta like give everyone electricity and water and maintain taxes and mm -hmm. you have to protect them from UFOs and you can cause now, natural that disasters. Fun. Like protecting from UFOs and causing natural disasters. That sounds fun to me. Yeah. <laughs> You're the mayor, but somehow control yeah. natural disasters. That would be pretty fun to see like <laughs> people's reactions in the game. Oh, and you have to build highways because if there's not enough roads going to the different stores, I want to create traffic. Yeah. Oh, oh and God. you have to set things up by. Um, you have to zone things. So like, here's the industrial zone. Mm -hmm. Here's the the town, like the um, residential zone. But if the residential zone's too close to the industrial zone, mm -hmm. people start getting sick. Okay. You need to build hospitals and police stations and fire departments. But if the fire department's too far from where the fire is, well, then you're, in <laughs> you're in trouble. Like it's it's insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So where do you play Steam? I mean, SimCity. Is it on PC? I I haven't played it since middle school, and back in middle school I had the disc. Okay. But I'm sure it's on Steam. Everything's yeah, on like, Steam. There were like, so many games on Steam. I'm sure it's on yeah, Steam. Yeah, I'm sure it's on there. But when I played it, I had the actual disc. You know, back when... Yeah. Back in my on. day, laptops had disc drives. Yeah. <laughs> Why did they get rid of those? My laptop still has a disc drive. Mine well, doesn't. The Acer? Yeah, you have the Acer. Yeah. Mine has a disk drive. Mine didn't. I had to buy a separate disk drive. I bought mine in 2018. You probably bought yours later. Or <laughs> During COVID. Yeah. So I don't know if they got rid of disk drives recently. <laughs> I have to. I had to buy a separate disk drive and I had to plug it in. I have to right. plug it into the USB port to have a disk drive on my laptop. Damn. That's annoying. That is annoying. But yeah, Be my, better. My laptop has a disk drive, but I bought it pre-COVID, so I don't know if there was like a recent change. <sighs> I just don't understand why they feel like we don't need it anymore. Why? Because no. I mean, there's so many discs, like CDs, DVDs that people still watch. Yeah, to be fair, for my PlayStation, I had to pay an extra hundred dollars to get the version that did have a disc drive. Oh. Because even Sony, so they're trying to get rid of physical media. They really are. They're like, you can download everything online, pretty much. But you don't own it when you download it digitally. You're leasing it. Unless you pay for it. No, even if you pay for it, you're, if you read the terms yeah. and conditions, you're you're buying it, but you're buying a license that they can revoke at any time at their discretion. Oh, dang. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Which is why physical media is... I know I've said this before. Physical media is better. Because that's what happened to my Sony account. They revoked my licenses because they suspended my account because someone hacked my account. They let me get hacked, and then they suspended my account and wow. <laughs> revoked all my licenses for games. Dang. They let you get hacked. They let me. They were like, hey, you can hack this guy. <laughs> but yeah, you don't own anything that you buy digitally. You own the license to use it. Oh, I thought you owned it because it's on your laptop. No, because it says buy and not rent because it's lies. Lies! Well, that's, you know... False advertisement? False advertisement, yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Well, there was a, there was a court case, I forgot what it was called, that determined that um, when you buy something, because it's, it's long been established that if you buy something, you own it. Mm -hmm. But there was a recent recent case, um, I think it had to do with phones, people mm -hmm. hacking phones and all that. Yeah. And the case said that if, that you know, you don't own the software. The software is maintained by the company. Mm -hmm. So if you buy a phone or a computer or what have you, you own the hardware. But you don't own the software. Oh. So everything inside of it, everything that makes it run, mm -hmm. they own. So when you buy digital media, that's really just software. Oh. There's nothing physical that you own. So you're buying a right to use it, mm -hmm. but they own it. And since they own it, they can revoke it. 
Gotcha. But they don't want to talk about that because if they did, mm -hmm. people would stop spending money on digital things because why am I going to pay? Because they charge full price. It would be different if mm -hmm. I go to the store and I buy... Uh, I want to go get the Suicide Squad game pretty soon. So I go get the Suicide Squad game. I pay 60 bucks at Walmart for it. Okay. But then if I want to buy just the digital version, it's still $60. So one version I own, one version I'm essentially leasing from them, mm -hmm. but it costs the same amount. How does that make sense? That don't make sense at all. It, it really doesn't because... For also, like you said, they're getting rid of a lot of DVD, like... Like, how much do you pay for a DVD player now? I don't know. I don't even see. I'm, I'm sh uh, on my Amazon card, I have a, a 4K Blu-ray player for, mm -hmm. I think, 180 Oh, okay. And that's 4K. That's, like, a high end. Because I don't really see a lot of DVD players. Maybe it's because everything's digital and, like, you... Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta buy physical so that you own it. So that they yeah. can't just take the it. The only thing I have that can play a DVD is my laptop. <laughs> well, you can hook your laptop up to your TV with an HDMI cord. Oh, yeah, that's true. I could do that. Yeah. I didn't think about that. My laptop's massive, though. Yeah, but you don't put it in front of the TV. You get a long HDMI cord. I guess cord. I need a long one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess I got to figure, figure that out. Yeah, this is doable. Yeah, that's doable. Also, you could just buy a DVD player. <laughs> Yeah, that too. <laughs> Why would I buy one when my laptop has DVD player? Right? So you could get a Blu-ray player. Okay. Or a 4K player. Okay. Don't you want to watch things in 4K? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah 4K sounds nice. See? Yeah. It's the future. Okay. Well, actually, now it's kind of the past because now they're moving on to 8K. 8K? They're going too fast. Wow. What happened to 5K? Well, it went from 4K to 6K, and now it's 8K. Oh, they just skipped. Okay. They, they just seem to do even numbers. Okay. Yeah, each time, just... Okay. Before you know it, we're going to have 3D holograms. That would be cool. You can just watch things in 3D. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're ever, like, in a horror... If you, if you ever have an enemy, you just wait a few years till the 3D models come in, and people are watching TV shows in their house. Mm -hmm. And then when they're watching a horror movie or... Uh, who done a cop show whatever you come in they'll think you're part of the show and then you just murder them and quietly walk out and they won't even notice until they're dead yeah you're, they're they're watching screaming <laughs> ghost face is chasing them with a knife you come in in a scream outfit mm. you walk up and they're like wow it's coming right towards me then and you stab it and they won't run because they're talking to the <laughs> this is how you murder people in the future <laughs> They don't see it coming because they think they're you're part of the the, the, of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, future criminals. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, it's coming. Yeah. Have you seen? Um, there was this video of this news reporter was talking. They they have these robots that are like humanoid looking now. Have you seen those? Yep. And there's there's one where this robot, and they're they're programming them with like light AI so that they could mm -hmm. talk and interact. And the, this reporter was standing there talking about there was a female reporter, and the male robot just like lifts up her skirt. I didn't see that one. Like lifts up the back of her shirt, and she's like looking back like what the fuck? Oh my gosh! <laughs> and I'm like, what are they programming these robots with? What? You haven't seen that? No. It's insane. I mean, it's not like he pulls it up like this, but he just, like, like, the robot's head leans, and yeah. then his hand goes like this. And what did the other robot say? Well, the other robot didn't say anything. The other robot was what? looking ahead. Wow. But I'm just like... She must have been offended. <laughs> oh, she, you can see her face. It was. I think at first she thought it was a person. She was about to slap him, but it's all the robot. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> So they're teaching these robots to sexually harass and assault women now. Like, that's, it's insane. That's crazy. Oh this is gosh. the world we live in. Jeez. I just... I, I just remember when uh, when chat... Cheap, what is it? Chat, chat GBT. When that was new, um, mm -hmm. they made a... Like, some other company was competing with them, and they put mm -hmm. it on Twitter. And within a few hours, it was a, a misogynistic Nazi... Like, I hated women, I hated Jewish people, I hated black people within, like, a couple hours on Twitter. So, ChatGBT is basically some a robot you can have a conversation with? Or you yeah. can ask it anything you can, it can give you answers? <laughs> the answers a lot of times are wrong. Oh, basically, what? what it is, is it's a... Um, 
it's a language model mm-hmm. um, and it sources the internet for information mm-hmm. but it has no real way of discerning what is true what is false and then it tries to emulate human speak so it tries to talk to you in a way that it thinks you would want to be talked to mm-hmm. and it resources all these things from the internet to composite that but the internet is so vast and there's so much mm-hmm. stuff on it there's no way to fact check anything there's no way to verify anything so a lot of it is nonsense oh. a lot of it's incoherent so if i ask chat gbt can you please do write my paper for me it will not be a good paper probably not <laughs> but people are doing that uh, there's mm-hmm. been there's been report after report of students doing that there have been numerous reports of teachers grading papers using ai uh, <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they it's I mean, they've been stealing art using AI. Dang. A lawyer wrote his um wrote um some law review thing using AI and the or it was um trying to write his speech for his case using AI mm-hmm. and it cited fictional cases that didn't oh, really exist. No. <laughs> Yeah, I can see how that can be a problem because there is a lot of fiction. Like, people come up with so many different stories online, and, and it's really hard to Google something and get the right answer. Even yeah. when you Google something, aside from ChatGPT, even when you Google something, you can't get the right answer. No. You have to have a reliable source. Yeah. And a lot of sources online are not reliable. And then, um,. Was it Google that tried to do it? Where they, they, uh, they wanted their AI generator mm-hmm. to be um, to be full of diversity and not just auto make everyone white. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> when they were programming it, I guess they put some codes wrong. Yeah. So it instead of which I think is honorable, they're trying to have diversity and they're auto generated. Yeah. But they they put that it was. Um, Everything that they did was diverse. So when people was like, show me images of World War II, there were black Nazis running around. What? <laughs> and George Washington comes out black. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem with it. It, it's, it doesn't have human context. Oh my God. So all it has is programming. But people act like it's the, it acts as if it understands things the way we do. Mm-hmm. But it's just coding. Day. The problem comes is that the people who run these companies mm-hmm. are using them to fire people oh. because they're like, oh, well, I can have this machine do it or I could have you do it. Well, I'll yeah. have the machine do it. Yeah, because why would you need a person when a machine can do it? And now we have robots moving around yeah. that can lift things. So warehouse workers are going to slowly be replaced with that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a company that sells a robot that just cleans things. So getting rid of genders, getting rid of... Yeah, we have a, in the hospital, we have a robot, I guess it's a vacuum, that goes around and just cleans. But they have ones now that can make beds, can clean oh, toilets, wow. like... Hmm. It's insane. That's crazy. But, but here's the thing, this is, this is all possibly utopia, except utopia. that people still need money to... Yeah. Pay rent, buy food, mm-hmm. <laughs> to whatever. Otherwise, we're going to go back to hunting and gathering. Yeah. Or we'll just all be homeless. I like the hunting and gathering. <laughs> all <gonna> be homeless. <laughs> what? Florida passed a law that homeless people can't sleep or hang out in public places. And they're like, this is our first step in solving the homeless crisis. And Where it's are like, they no. going to go? Well, yeah. And it's like, well, the hell not. This, this isn't solving the homeless crisis. This is just hiding the homeless problem. You're basically saying it's illegal for homeless people to let oh us know God. that they Did exist. Did you see the homeless person? There was, it was a while back, there was a homeless person in Florida. They found inside an alligator's mouth. The alligator ate the homeless person? Yeah. It was a homeless person, and I guess she was sleeping on the streets. Maybe that's why they passed the law, because they don't want them to get eaten by alligators. Because, <laughs> yeah, it was a homeless person that was half-eaten by an alligator somewhere in Florida. How yeah. hungry are these gators that they're attacking human? I don't know. But that was just like, that just sounds like it's from like a horror movie. You yeah. Know? <laughs> that's like, how is that real? This country. Yeah. I just, sometimes I I'm like, so sad. Wow. So the alligator just ate them? Yeah, like some guy was walking past and he saw an alligator. I don't know if it was dead or alive. He saw the gator and then when he kept walking, he saw a human being like sticking out the mouth. 
The human being was probably dead before the alligator started eating her. I can't imagine an alligator is good because humans are pretty, or we're bigger than alligators. Yeah, it's like, I'm like, was there, were they dead before? Because if they're, I don't know. Because like wolves will eat a person if a person's dead. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to, unless they're attacked, they're not going to attack a person. Mm -hmm. Most animals won't attack something bigger than them. Than unless, unless they're cornered. Mm -hmm. So an alligator attacking a homeless person, the homeless person had to be dead and it was just, oh, free food. I'm hoping that she was already dead and then the alligator was like, oh, free food. Because the other way around would have just been, like, terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Oh. God. Yeah. So that's probably why that maybe Florida passed the law. No more people sleeping on the streets because of alligators. But then again, where are they going to go? Yeah, to me it just seems like instead of instead of doing anything um, productive to help the issue, you're just hiding the issue. Yeah, it's like you know you could do we could do something. Like, you know, how is there like such a gap between like the super super rich and the super super poor? I don't know. Be because we deregulate everything and we let Jeff Bezos mm -hmm. and Elon Musk become billionaires without raising the minimum wage. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, you have people... And, you know, you're rich, you can do whatever you want with your money, but, like, how are you, like, having poor people who can't even, like, have a place to sleep? Well, I think, I think the issue is not like once you have money what do you do with it i think the issue is how these people are making money mm -hmm. walmart is one of the wealthiest countries on the planet mm -hmm. and yet something like 60 percent of their employees are on government assistance but it's like but if you're making that much money why do you have any of your employees on government assistance yeah. why 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 are the taxpayers subsidizing your payments mm -hmm. if you're making that much money you should be paying your employees enough money so that the government doesn't have to fill in the rest of your pay to your employees. True. So it's it's, mm -hmm. it's that these companies are hoarding money. Yeah, I can see it. It's it's corruption. It's always the people at the very top who are like, I want more money, but they don't really think about their employees or... But it's also short-sighted. Everything's short-sighted because it's like... If you keep if you keep hoarding all the resources at the top and not letting any trickle down to the people below you, mm -hmm. but all of these companies make money from consumers. Mm -hmm. But if the consumers have less and less money, mm -hmm. who's gonna buy your stuff? True. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like they're not gonna want to buy anything <laughs> because they're not gonna have anything. Yeah, because they don't have any money. <laughs> It's, it's just, it's insane. It's short-sighted and it's foolish. And the only thing left to do is to hunt and gather. You know, hunt and gather. <laughs> I was going to say Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. <laughs> uh, oh, so what do you think about, like, if they do pass the law to uh, remove TikTok, where a lot of people make money off of TikTok? Ban TikTok. Yeah, ban TikTok. It's insane. It, I know that's how a lot of people do make their money. But I, I don't understand their argument. They say their argument is that well, TikTok's owned by a Chinese go, uh, a Chinese uh, owned by China. Like TikTok as a company is owned by another company that's in China, mm -hmm. and China has a control over all their companies, which mm -hmm. is true. Like the com the Chinese Communist Party is not a great party. Like they're pretty shitty people. Okay. But, not Chinese people, but the Chinese Communist Party, the leadership, the government. I, 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 when you talk shit about America, everyone understands it's talking about the government. Yeah. When you do it about other countries, people are like, are you talking about the people? No. no. The, the government. <laughs> the government is shit. But here's the thing. Go to your store. Everything is made in China. Yeah. Donald Trump's Make America Great hat are made in China. Everything is made in China. <laughs> so... And, and it's not the only app. Like, um, that, that, uh, there was a report that was like the greatest breach in national security was um, the Grinder app. Oh. The, isn't that the gay app? Yeah. Like, uh, mm -hmm. And it's because so many people in Congress apparently have the app downloaded wow. on their phone. Okay. And so if the app was, an app tracks everywhere where you're going yeah. to find you nearby, right? But yeah. that's also owned by China. Okay. But no one's going after that. They're just going after TikTok. Because they want people to, like, continue their relations. No, because TikTok <laughs> is where a lot of young people go to shit talk shit about the government. Oh, yeah, they do. 
You can it's, do whatever you want on TikTok. It's <laughs> literally about censorship. It's not about anything else. Because if it was, then the dollar store wouldn't exist because <laughs> everything in there is made at, made in China. Walmart wouldn't exist. But I, I guess it depends on like what you follow on TikTok. What you follow it depends on what your algorithm is going to be. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I don't really watch. I post on TikTok, but I don't really watch yeah, a lot of videos I'll watch on TikTok. TikTok. And my most of my algorithms are dancing chickens, tactical packets. Dancing? What? <laughs> yeah. Where do you find these things? <laughs> They're not. Someone obviously is moving them. But I was watching a video of a dancing chicken, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is cute!" And all the comments are like, "Please don't ban TikTok. We need this." <laughs> We need this. Yeah, I was like, yes. We need this. This is vital. This is vital to our lives. These dancing chickens, these dancing alpacas, they make us happy. To, to me, the banning of TikTok is nothing more, nothing less than censorship. That, that's all it is. They want to silence people speaking out against them. And it used to happen on, on Twitter, but Elon Musk bought Twitter, and now Twitter is a cess- or X, stupidest name on the planet. Yeah, I haven't used Twitter. In it's it's a cesspool. Long. There's nothing good on there anymore. And yeah. unless you pay Elon Musk, anything you post gets buried. I went from having really good engagement to having no engagement because I won't pay. Mm, I don't want to pay for something. So now it's all moved to TikTok, and that's why they want to ban it. Well, because it's censorship. Mm. Then all people from TikTok are going to move to Instagram. Because I see a lot of people. On TikTok, they're already sharing their Instagram tags. Yeah, I see case, that a lot, too. In case TikTok is But Facebook. Instagram, uh, Meta as a whole, Facebook, Instagram, all that, mm-hmm. are usually really quick to shut down people's accounts mm-hmm. that talk about things they don't want to talk about. Oh, I didn't know that. So if you talk about, like, Israel and Palestine, or you talk about certain LGBTQ issues... Instagram will shut that down. You know what? Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't see a lot of that stuff on Instagram or Facebook. <laughs> They'll ban accounts yeah, that talk about TikTok, stuff like that. It is I have rampant. seen a lot. Like, I've seen, like, a side. I don't know if you've ever scrolled through TikTok, and one side will be Palestine, one side will be Israel. And, like, they'll just try to like, get more likes for each side, which that was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Well, that, that right there is yeah. people... They're trying, to, trying make, to profit. They're trying to profit off of the, <laughs> the horrible the things, horrible that, things are happening. that are going on. I was like, what the hell is this? Yeah, that's what I always find weird about yeah. like when you're on Facebook mm-hmm. or Instagram and it's mm-hmm. like, if you love Jesus, heart this. Yeah, and it's like, like okay. okay, so my love for Jesus <laughs> is reflected in whether or not I give you engagement. Yeah, I thought that was super weird. It's it's <laughs> people <laughs> Uh, exploiting a tragedy and a yeah. horrible thing that's happening mm-hmm. for personal gain. Yeah, because I know like they're getting money based off the views and the likes. Yeah, they're using tragedy as a way to. Which is shady as it hell. It's very shady. I was like, how is this allowed on TikTok? So that is one reason why I would say yes, man, TikTok because of videos. But like there, those. there are a lot of people who are showing yeah. on TikTok what's happening there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's and a lot of people that are showing, but there's a lot of people that are trying to profit off of it. Yes. I feel like they should ban certain videos like that, but not yeah. everything, but like just certain. They seem to have like, what do you call it? Um, like a censor, like how Instagram deletes certain videos. They need to delete someone, certain yeah. videos. Yeah, some of the stuff on TikTok, TikTok is pretty graphic too. Yeah. They do need to show what's going on around the world. but they Because do the need. media is not showing it. So yeah. where else do you see it if not TikTok? Mm-hmm. Yeah. YouTube shuts it down. Yeah. So TikTok is the one place it's like kind of like, hey, we're a young company. We'll show everything. Yeah, which I do think that's important for us to know what's going on. But it's wrong to make a profit off of someone else's tragedy. Yeah, I do agree with that. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. But I think that's why it's getting shut down, not because it's yeah. owned by China. Because if it was, we wouldn't import everything from China. Mm-hmm. If you're that concerned, U.S. government, about the Chinese government, <laughs> stop buying everything from China. <laughs> so it's all nonsense. They're, they're yeah. using China as the, the boogeyman yeah. so that they could ban something where people talk about how much they don't like politicians. Dang. It's, it's censorship. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Congress saying, hey, 
we no longer believe in the First Amendment. Let's shut that down. So if they shut it down, it'll only be shut down in America, right? Yeah. So if you go to another country, you could still see it. You can still see it, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. It's just, it's, it's nonsense. Yeah. And it's, in, it's insane <laughs> that um, the Republicans who are the party of small government is like, hey guys, let's get the government involved to ban something. <laughs> It's like this might go against your whole premise. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> oh, TikTok. But I guess we'll see what happens. When do they finally make the final decision? So the House passed it, I think, 80%. Mm -hmm. But I don't know when it goes to the Senate. Biden mm -hmm. said he'll sign it. Wow. So if it passes the Senate, I guess it gets banned. That's crazy. I would want to see what happens after they ban it. The like power. Well, it's gonna. Yeah. there's going to be lawsuits. Yeah. TikTok is going to sue. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it comes back. But yeah. it, it's crazy. If you look at it, it's mm -hmm. like the whole world is coming more and more. Like, well, not the whole world, but America is becoming very. We're trying to recapture the 50s. Mm -hmm. Like, let's be isolated. Isol 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 isolated? Yes. <laughs> um, and let's let's just reform old school values yeah. um i was listening to this podcast i was talking about um i was talking about a new law passed in texas <laughs> here you can't go on pornhub anymore what how are you gonna pass that law they, they passed a law where if you go on to pornhub or different porn sites you have to um s register your id to prove you're an adult every time okay. you get on the site that I kind of see because a lot of kids, there are more and more kids who are having access to internet and they can look up things. But you can also put settings on your yeah. Google that block that as well. Yeah, parents need to do that because the kids these days, they have tablets. But shouldn't it be on the computer itself and not it on the porn website? Because really all you're doing is being like, hey, mm -hmm. let's register everyone who watches porn mm -hmm. so that we have a database so that we could blackmail them later. Yeah. It's weird. Mm -hmm. It it seems very much like you're your um what what's the word? You're legislating morality. Yeah. You're like let's make laws based on what we think is moral and just. Mm -hmm. And it's like so when are the the witch trials coming back? Oh, gosh. <laughs> we're just going backwards. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like we're just going backwards? Yeah. Like everything's just sliding backwards. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before the witch trials. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, Handmaid's Tale hasn't had a new season in a while. Let's <laughs> let's put a new season of Handmaid's Tale on. Oh, maybe gosh. maybe people need to be reminded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's insane. We have robots taking over everything. We have government oppressing restrictive laws, mm -hmm. outlaw outlawing one of the few places where people can have open discussions about things. But then again, I kind of see like there's more and more kids going on TikTok and I think in certain aspects the kids might see something inappropriate. That's fair. Yeah. Th and that I is think valid. that part is fair. But isn't there So like YouTube because YouTube was getting that criticism. Mm -hmm. So they reworked their thing to where um, every time I post something on there, I have to answer, is this for kids? I always put no. Even if it's the stop motion videos, I always put no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but YouTube made it so that if you go on the kids version of YouTube, it restricts access, access to everything. Mm -hmm. So isn't there a world where we just say, well, TikTok has to have stronger parental, parental okay. controls parental. for their thing? Um, yeah. Isn't there something where we could do for like the porn stuff that yeah, the search engines needs. and the internet provider provide that option for parents? Like there needs to be that option because there are certain things on TikTok that kids should not see, but their kids 100%. are like one hundred percent. Kids are they have so many like so much technology now, like they are always on an iPad and 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 for for like public access television and things like that there's a rule where or there you I don't know if it's still in place like, I imagine it is but like mm -hmm. if it's public airways it has to be somewhat appropriate for everybody mm -hmm. I'm fine with that but there you can't make it to where everything on the internet is designed for five-year-olds 
Yeah, you can't make it like that. There has to be a way where some kind of parental control. Yeah, mm -hmm. we need we need to give for everything these sites <laughs> that have open source like that, mm -hmm. especially where anyone can post content. Mm -hmm. We need to design it to where they are liable to or they they are responsible to give parents more control over what their kids can and can't see on that site. And I'm all for that. Yeah. I'm all for legislation saying TikTok has to make a kid's version of their app yes. that filters things Just out. Just have a whole like kid's version. Like I'm, I'm yeah. all for that. I yeah. think that's valid because you're right. Once mm -hmm. someone gets on TikTok, they have access to everything yeah. on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And that is dangerous. But mm -hmm. whose responsibility is that to monitor the Mm -hmm. The apps or the parents. Right. But if the app gives the parents the ability to monitor it, I think that solves a lot of the issues. True. True that. We should just be in Congress. We should be in Congress. <laughs> you guys should vote for us. <laughs> what do we what do we run for? Senate? The, yeah, the Senate. Senate? Okay. The House, I don't How know. How old do you have to be? Uh, I don't know. To be president, you have to be 35, so... Oh, we're 35! Uh, excuse you. I still oh, have two shit. weeks. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> By the time this comes out, I have a week. <laughs> <laughs> so in one, in a few weeks, you can vote for a job. By the election, I can run for president. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Don't vote for Trump or Biden. Vote for me. Yep. <laughs> My campaign is more TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Well, seriously, if you're going to run for president, like if I was going to run for president, which is what I find insane that we have these two old guys running for office yeah. who seem so out of touch with everything. Exactly. But I would run on, let's fix the housing crisis. Yeah. Let's, and, and to do that, well, first, let's bring back rent control. Yeah. Like these, these apartments should not be I able. I remember when apartments were like $600, all bills included. Yeah. It's oh, it's insane. It <laughs> now they're like for a small two bedroom, it's like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen grand. It should not be that way. And our pay isn't going up, so let's tie minimum wage. Let's let's put minimum wage back to what it used to be, which mm -hmm. is um, it enough to pay. Yeah. It was supposed to be enough to provide for family for. Yeah. Make minimum wage that and tie it to inflation. Um, mm -hmm. Let's set some law. Let's set some regulations in place for these giant corporations, so that they can't exploit um their employees mm -hmm. like if you're if you have an employee they have to be able to you can't have ceos making millions and millions of dollars and have employees on food stamps yeah. that should be illegal should be illegal. like that should not be and any company that does should be fined into extinction into extinction um we need rent control on these houses on these apartments we need um to bring the rent down we need to get rid of I use them, I know, so I'm a hypocrite, but we need to get rid of like Airbnb and things like that. Oh, because too like many Airbnbs, we need to get rid of those. Because too many oh, yeah, big companies are buying yeah. houses to rent just so to that rent. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So it's limiting how what homes you can buy. Yeah. They're taking up too large a portion of the housing market and that's part of why the prices are so high. Mm -hmm. So you need to get rid of that. Um we need to start putting more money, take money away from the police. And start putting more police. money. They don't make a lot anyway. Maybe, maybe if the police don't make a lot of money, but <laughs> most cities, the largest part of the budget goes to the police department. Oh, I didn't. Where know that. that money goes, I don't know, and that's not my issue. The the police department shouldn't be getting that money. Okay. Because if 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 the officers aren't getting that money, where's that money going? I don't know. So I they're know just officers don't make that much. They make a decent amount, but maybe. But not the like the largest part yeah. of most cities' budgets goes to the police department. I didn't know that. Didn't that should not be that yeah. should not be allowed. And so if the if the if you're right and the officers aren't making that much money, then that means most of that money is going to administration. We'll take that money Probably, from them. Yeah. Kind and of regulate it, yeah. Put it into, but at the same time, so you put it into mm -hmm. mental health facilities. Oh, you put it into helping um, get homeless people back on their feet. Mm -hmm to um, rehab centers and things like that mm -hmm. and then to also help out the cops uh you don't have them do traffic tickets anymore you 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 can make a new organization that does that one that's not armed yeah. uh you don't have them check on mental patients or do wellness checks you create a new organization to do that someone who's specially trained for that and you just use police for emergencies nothing else that's a good idea because you could definitely have like 
nurses check on people for wellness. Wouldn't that be better? Yeah, because like nurses are like trained. Like if we're actually having like an episode, we could like help. Yeah, and yeah. we need to get rid of qualified immunity for cops. Police officers mm -hmm. should be held more accountable than the normal citizen, not less. And the the requirement for a cop to kill you is that they felt their life was in danger, and a, another police officer says they would have done the same thing. So basically, you lie, and you get your friend to lie for you, <laughs> and you could do whatever the fuck you want as a cop. How is that a good system? Still insane. That's not a good system. <laughs> So we need to change that. We need to change the prison system. The United States has the largest prison population and the highest recidivism rate. That needs to change. If someone serves their time in prison, they should not be punished for it after they get out. Otherwise, they didn't serve their time. That was just part one of their punishment. Mm -hmm. You want to know why people relapse in a crime? It's because you won't let them rent any place and you won't let them get jobs. It should be illegal to ask someone if they've been convicted of a felony. Like a sexual offender, that's kind of different. Yeah, a sexual offender. But yeah. you shouldn't be able to be like, did you steal from your previous job and then serve four years in prison? We won't. Have, that's nonsense. They serve their time. Supposedly their debt is paid. But Move if the you fuck are on. working in a hospital, you should definitely tell them if you've killed a patient before. <laughs> that is that. That's yeah. different though. That'd yeah. be like a malpractice thing. Like you, yeah. you did your job poorly. <laughs> No, because they've been, there was like a few nurses that I intentionally killed, like, patients. Intentionally? Yeah. So they murdered yeah, a patient? Yeah, they murdered, yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard the nurse that, like, injected insulin into saline bags, killing a bunch of patients. Why? Because, I don't know, he just... Don't do that! But yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, okay, yeah, that's certain, bad! Certain things you should tell, like, like... You should like, you know, ask for like health care. Like healthcare. well, I definitely <laughs> think if if you're a doctor or nurse and you mm -hmm. murder patients, mm -hmm. maybe you should have your license revoked indefinitely. Yeah. Even I mean, after getting out of prison. If it was like an intentional murder, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So once you serve your time, mm -hmm. maybe you shouldn't be able to get your medical yeah. license back. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> just just throwing that radical yeah. idea out there. Uh, that's insane. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is insane. Mm -hmm. I just I think these are a couple things that could really move to make things better. Mm -hmm. So, Jonathan for president. Jonathan for president in two weeks. <laughs> in two two weeks. weeks. <laughs> well, the election's in November. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just saying when, that's when you turn 35. 35, yeah. <laughs> and when this comes out, it'll be a week. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, all right, I'm, I'm Jonathan. I'm Zelda. Give us legends. Give us vote for us for presidency. Together, it's a co-presidency. <laughs>